Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is me, Milkbone here. I'm bringing you guys a little Halo 4 gameplay. And yes, I am playing SWAT here. Uh, SWAT is a new playlist that Halo 4 just released. I actually got this uh, gameplay not too long after they released the playlist, so I'm super excited about SWAT. Um, I actually am enjoying Halo 4 SWAT way more than I ever did in Reach. I don't know why I feel like I like the maps better and, you know, just the map control is a lot smoother. Uh, a lot of the uh, the shots register a lot better. I actually had an amazing game here, guys. Uh, not your ordinary gameplay. I actually pulled 37 kills, 11 deaths, with a killing frenzy, about 3 triple kills, and like 4 or 5 double kills, something like that. Maybe, maybe 3 or 4, I'm not sure exactly how many doubles. But about at least 3 triple kills, and uh, with a killing frenzy. So I, I had a really good game here. It was a really good, nice, amazing gameplay for you guys. Um, I was running with a boy of mine. His name is it's Tokes. If you guys don't know who he is, um, he's an old Gears One sniper buddy of mine that I used to you know have in my clan. And he's not a really big fan of SWAT. And I'm gonna get into that a little bit later in this com. But um, he's not a really big fan of SWAT. So he actually just you know he kind of left, and uh, it ended up being a three on four. And I was the, you know uh, it was just me, some other guy, and some other guy against these four guys and there's they were like trying really hard as you can tell they're like jumping around and shit but um no let's get back into the three key things i want to talk to you guys today about in this video and those things are first thing the dmr versus the br okay and map control and the third thing is swat and how i think it takes skill and it's my opinion okay the dmr versus the br especially in swat the game overall, I think that I like the BR, and that's just my opinion, guys. The BR, if you guys don't know, is a three-round burst where the DMR is a single fire and a single shot. So it, it, they both are the same, you know, damage that you shoot them five times in the head, they die. With SWAT, you know, it's one shot. But if I had to, you know, pick anyone, I would pick the BR if I was playing SWAT especially um, because for one it's a three round burst now because the BR is a three round burst uh, I was playing a little with a BR as you can see in this gameplay but a couple other games and uh, I was picking up double kills like multi kills with one shot and that's because when you shoot a three round burst you can you know s swish your gun and you can actually get you know a double kill with the one shot because it's like a collateral type thing it'll go through the guy you know it's weird but it's pretty cool and it's pretty rewarding I do like the BR a lot though it's uh it's really effective especially close range now if I was playing a long map I would probably be using the DMR like complex is a bigger map uh, it reminds me kind of a like a, a different style kind of powerhouse. It's it's pretty you know long range uh, style map. So I'd probably be using the DMR there. But on smaller maps, uh, I, I use the BR usually. So um, map control is one thing about map control that I feel with especially SWAT. You have to have top control. Top control with SWAT is a key. Um, in this map especially, if you guys if, if you guys don't know, I used to play a little GB back in the day with SWAT. And yes, SWAT has GB, guys. Now, I'll get into that a little bit later in the com. But, um, you know, map control is key, guys. You, if you don't have map control and solid, you know, control of the map, you know, especially if your team, you know, you really don't have a team. As you can see, I don't have a team here, so I'm not really, you know, running any type of control. I'm just kind of, you know, waltzing around the map. But if I had a team and I was playing a decent team, I would definitely uh, be... Oh, I kill, picked up my Killing Frenzy there. Uh, but no, uh, I would definitely be running top control on this map in the middle. And when you run top control and you run the middle of the map and the key points of the map, the people when they spawn, if your team is set up in a position, your that team won't, the other team won't go anywhere. You'll have a couple guys running around the map. And you'll have, you know, the key points of the map of your, you know, your team. It, it's kind of gets boring sometimes, but especially when you're playing GB, it's awesome because you're an important player. I mean, you're one of those guys that have to sit and wait for the other team, 
you know, to come out, and if they're trying to push or flank your other team, you got your other team, you know, you got the teams back. So it's a, it's really rewarding, and it helps out when you guys have map control. And that's with any map. I mean, Haven has it too. I mean, it's not just a drift. A drift, as you can see, a lot of people are fighting in the middle of the map. And that's because when you spawn, you know, people tend to just go right to the middle of the map. And if you keep pushing everybody outside and you're walking around the map, it just it's easier to pick up multi because as you can see these guys, I actually pick up a couple triples because they're on the outside of the map and I'm running around flanking them. It's just really a good way to get, uh, you know, multi kills. Um, but the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys today about is SWAT taking skill. Now, SWAT does take skill, guys. If anyone doesn't tell you SWAT doesn't take skill, my buddy says SWAT didn't take skill, but I don't believe that, guys. SWAT does take skill, because if it didn't, you know, everyone would be, you know, camping and shit. And it, it, I'm going to let you guys know right now. Most of the players I run into, especially the good SWAT players, they're jumping around corners and they ain't camping. So, this commentary is coming to an end. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about my opinion, pulling this amazing gameplay, and, uh, yeah, uh, this kid sends me a fucking hater message, so you can listen to the rest of the video. This is Milkbone. Peace out, guys. You're not even that fucking good, you faggot. You have no life. You fat fuck. Fuck you. You're not even that fucking good, you faggot. You have no life. You fat fuck. Fuck you.